Hello, welcome to this small uh, video tutorial. Well, in fact, uh, it's my working progress about the uh, Fire Sky telemetry information uh, seated with the deviation take. So, well, in fact, I will show that it's possible now to monitor both the RSSI uh, from example D4 Air second editions and the um, li uh, LiPo uh, voltage. So, well, I already done a video from, uh, previously, and uh, well, to monitor the the uh, voltage, you need to uh, a voltage divisor. For example, here here is a 3S uh, battery, and I uh, used uh, two resistance to make the uh, voltage divisor uh, 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 27 kilo ohm there. Okay, and in parallel uh, 10 kilo one. Okay, so with these values, uh, you will output a maximum of 3.3 .3, uh, volt uh, to be inputted in the uh, 82 uh, um, uh, pints of the uh, FireSky receiver. Okay, so uh, also modded the deviation takes money um, uh, software protocol in the two way one in order to display the RSSI. So, as you maybe don't know, uh, the uh, uh, FireSky receiver is outputting uh, a DBM values from uh, uh, 110 and uh, when you are very close range and is decreasing uh, about 30 when you are in a far range close to infinity and uh, the value is uh, uh, losing 6 dB each time you double the distance so it means that when you are in close range and you will uh, move away you will decrease a lot this value okay so in order to give you um, an idea um, I will turn on the, the transmitter okay and turn off the, the, the deviation takes and as you will see okay if I go to the uh, monitor telemetry monitor you will see that I am now displaying the uh, RSSI in percentage so uh, when you will be in close range, you will have a huge variations of the RSSI size when you're, uh, as you can see, for example, when I'm getting closer to the antenna, I'm getting to 32 and each, I'm moving a bit, uh, it's uh, decreasing a lot. Okay, but um, the, it means it's uh, explained because uh, the loss is quadratic. Okay, but now I will uh, uh, plug um, a lipo battery in the in the in, in the input simulating for example your battery voltage of your quadcopter and you will see that now uh, I've got I can monitor the, the, the battery voltage of the quadcopter so I also um, also modify the actual FastSky protocol uh, by adding a new uh, fill. Okay, so if I go to the to the um, FastSky, the two-way one, I had this one A2 gain. Okay, and I set up to 37. Okay, so this is a factor. In fact, uh, th you have to read 3.7. Okay, and you will m multiply these voltage entering in the um, AD2 okay uh, so you will multiply the voltage entering here in the AD2 uh, pints by this factor by 3.7 volt in it in order to retrieve the original uh, um, battery uh, before the voltage divisor so in, in this with this uh, new field I can uh, set up a 3S battery by inputting uh, 37 and if you have a 4s you will adapt this value and, and 2s and so on okay so in order to bypass completely you have to input 10 here so at the end uh, if i go to the uh, uh, telemetry monitor i can monitor both uh, my um, input voltage as well as the RSSI so i can put uh, to set up some uh, alarms uh, in both uh, for both values so it's working well um, and uh, well um, i'm quite satisfied and uh, probably i will try to push the modification of the FireSky uh, protocol uh, to the deviation takes thank you for watching bye bye